Good day, and welcome to Hiroshima University's English Podcast. Hiroshima Daigaku English Podcast, Ibunka Discussion, e Yokoso. この番組「異文化ディスカッション」では広島大学に学ぶ留学生をゲストに招き東広島での学生生活や身近な話題について英語で話してもらいますタイ出身のピンそして日本生まれイギリス育ちのショーンを迎えてのトークの2回目をお届けします今回の話題はタイとイギリスおすすめ観光スポットベスト3今回もズームによるリモート収録でお届けします聞き手は広島大学のジョーラウアさんです。それではごゆっくりどうぞ。Hi everyone, and we're very happy to have you back with our cross-cultured talk this month. I'm Joe, and it's a pleasure for us to greet、uh, Sean from Britain. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. And, right, and Pin from Thailand. Hello. <laughs> Good. And Before we begin,、uh, I'd like to ask you how the coronavirus has affected、uh, Britain and Thailand.、Uh, what's the situation these days? Okay, I'll go first.、Um, okay, okay um, so overall from March,、um, nearly a million people are now tested positive.、Um, and so, and a million people? Wow, that's the yeah, population of Hiroshima City. <laughs> yeah. And yeah,、um, so the recently the situation is getting bad again.、Um, so each day, 20, 20,、uh, like 22,000 people are confirmed having、um, tested positive for the COVID 19、um, wow. coming into, into October. And over 60,000 people have died. <laughs> okay. Does, does、yeah. everybody wear masks? Or- yeah, yeah, everyone was wearing a mask. And、um, well, I think. During the summer,、um, the cases were cases declined. So、um, there was this、um, eat out to help out campaign going on. <laughs> And so, yeah, the food were <laughs> half price、um, if you go to a restaurant. And、mm-hmm. yeah, so, but then I think that's the result of how the situation is worsening right now. <laughs> okay, good, good.、Yeah. And how about in Thailand? Um, so, actually,、um, during February and March, the situation wasn't very good. So, the government had to start some very Um, serious measurements against the COVID 19. So we had those curfews and things like that. So now the situation is a lot better. But the total case is only around 3,700. Okay. And like,、mm. yeah, 3,500 has already recovered with 49 dates. So okay, it's okay. quite good right now, actually. Okay, so it's not that bad. Good. So, today we're talking about a very exciting thing tourist spots in Britain and Thailand. And with this coronavirus,、uh, you all can't really go this year, but undoubtedly next year the problem will be solved and there'll be、uh, flights going everywhere again. So, let's talk about some of the most famous places in Britain and Thailand. And we're going to do this kind of、uh, as a countdown of the top three that each of the each Sean and Pin think are the, the three best places. <laughs> and we'll begin with number three here for each of you, okay?、Uh, how about Pin?、Uh, what's your third favorite place in Thailand?、Uh, my third favorite place might be the first favorite place for Beni Thai. There's the Grand Palace. Okay, the Grand Palace. Located, and where、yes. is that? It's in, in Bangkok. Okay. Yeah, it is very famous and would be like on every tourist book s for Thailand. So it was built in 1782, and for 150 years, it was the home for Thai king and also the royal court and administrative seat of government. But actually, now it is more for tourist, for tourist purpose. There are like museums and also many temples around this area. So, if you want to experience something very Thai and very unique, very traditional, this would be the place for you. Yeah, so it's a very beautiful building with a lot of history,、yes. right? Yes.、Good. And Sean, what, what is your third favorite place? Yes.、Um, so, the first third favorite place for me is the Lake District National Park.、Um, so, yes,、um, it's located in northwest England、um, in a place called Cumbria. And yes, so it roughly takes about five hours by train from London. So, it's quite far.、Um, mm-hmm. So, it's basically a national park which is an, it has an area of 2,360 kilometers squared. And it basically has the highest mountains of England.、Um, Which isn't really high if you compare it to Japan, but、um, how is it like、deep. compared to the mountains in Hiroshima Prefecture? 
Um, yes, so the highest mountain in England is ni- only 978 meters, so it's not that high. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. And yes, and it also contains the、um, largest lakes of the country.、Um, so it, you can go on tour boat excursions or cycling or hiking. So it's basically for the people who like natural stuff. <laughs> and、um, okay. yes,、yeah, so people can enjoy natural views and、yes. scenery,、uh, which is straight out of the painting. Right, right, right,、yeah. right. The, the Lake District of England. Okay, let's go to number two most popular.、Uh, Pin, what is your second favorite place in Thailand? And this also might be like on the top list of, of many Thais, is the historic city of Ayutthaya. Okay. I mean, Ayutthaya、mm. is Can you say、province. it one more time? <laughs> yeah, historic city of Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya? <laughs> Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya. Good.、Thank、yes, Ayutthaya <laughs> is a province around three hours by car from Bangkok, and it is actually a former capital of Thailand. So it is a place where tourists can experience, you know, those glory of the ancient Thailand. But what is left now are mostly the ruins of the temples or palaces because there were、mm. some wars and stuff. But still, there it is very, like, very unique and. There are a lot of historical backgrounds there, so if you want to learn about Thai history or experience、uh-huh. traveling back in time, this would be a place for you. And、so、they're a, like, sorry, it's about a thousand years old or two thousand years old. You, oh, more、idea? than two thousand years old, actually. More than two thousand.、Wow. Yes. Okay. And they're like a famous Buddha head in the tree roots. If、uh-huh. you search about Ayutthaya, this picture probably would come out like a only Buddha head in the tree roots. <laughs> At like twelve、okay. meter long reclining Buddha. Okay, good, good. And、uh, Sean, second favorite place in Britain? Yes.、Um, so that would be the British Museum. <laughs> oh. Yes.、Um, so it's basically、um, a massive museum、um, which has a permanent collection of over eight million works. And it covers two million years of human history.、Um, yes,、yeah, so it's kind of dedicated to cultural,、um, cultural heritage and art works. And it was founded in 1753, so over 200, 300 years ago. And、okay. it was the and it was the first national museum in the world. And、um, so there's a kind of wide wide range of collections from Babylonia, Egypt,、um, ancient Greek, Roman Empire, and China as the So、um, the famous、um, uh, collections include like the Rosetta Stone or the Elgin marbles from the Parthenon in Athens, and yes, and finally, it's the best bit is that it's free, so、oh, every, it's anyone free, can go.、Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> anyone can go in there,、uh, so and just have a stroll inside to learn about the world. So yeah, it's a、mm-hmm. recommended place to go to. <laughs> yeah, actually, I went there a couple years ago, and you can, you can also take pictures inside.、Right? Yes,、oh, yes, that's so and、cool. so it's basically like a massive resource for education, and so、uh-huh. it's like a a popular destination for school trips as well. So I don't know how many times I've been there during <laughs> my primary school life, but yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, finally, we've come to our the best place in Thailand and the best place in. Britain and the answer is for Thailand. It's the Chiang Mai Sunday night walking street. It's、oh. like a night market. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, this is not famous at all, and not very. It's like a hidden gem. But personally, I put this on the top of my list because I just love this place. If you love street food, if you love to like、mm. walking and eating at the same time, and also those local goods, this would be like a place for you. And it is always packed with foreigners and also visitors from domestically. And there are many vendors selling cheap and delicious street food, and also like handmade stuffs, like handmade textile, natural soap, or the things that you cannot really see in the department stores or in other places in Thailand. Wow. So if yeah, so if you want to experience something very local, not something that would be on the tourist book. I would recommend this place. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that the culture on that street is yeah fantastic, right? Okay, and Sean, what's your favorite place in Britain? Um, yes, my favorite place is probably the London Eye. <laughs> the London Eye. Yeah. So yes, it located in central London, in、mm-hmm. by the River Thames, which is a, like a long river that basically stretches across the、um, city of London, and it's essentially a large Ferris wheel. And its structure is over 135 meters tall, 
and the wheel itself is has diameter. 135 meters yeah. tall. Yeah, wow. and the wheel itself oh. is um, has a diameter of 120 meters. Um, yeah. So it opened in 2000, so to match the meet uh, to meet the um, new millennium, right?、Um, mm. it, the start of the new millennium. And once、um, during, when it opened, it was the world's tallest Ferris wheel. But yeah, unfortunately, it was passed in 2006 by China. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but okay. Yeah.、Um, so it's it has 32 capsules which people can enter, and it can carry 25 people each. And so really, visitors, yeah, visitors can enjoy the 360 panorama view of London, the skyline of London. And also、um, during the New Year,、um, there's the、um, New Year's Eve firework display, which takes place.、Um, Every year, and、um, so there's basically fireworks shooting out from the London Eye, which is quite、uh, fascinating to watch. If- <laughs> wow! Very、yeah. good, very good. Okay, we're out of time, but just to summarize, can each of you tell your the names of those three places one more time? Go, Sean. <laughs> okay, so my third place was Lake District National Park. Second was British Museum, and first was the London Eye. Okay, and Tim. My third was the Grand Palace. My second was. Um, historic city of Ayutthaya, and my first is Chiang Mai Sunday Night Walking Street. Very good, very good. We hope that all of you can go to all of those places next year, right? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, okay, hopefully. <laughs> thank you very much,、uh, Sean and Pin, and we'll be back next month for another talk about Thailand and Britain. We'll see you all then. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. いかがでしたか。微笑みの国タイ、歴史と伝統の国イギリス、いずれも見どころ満載ですね。ピンが1位に挙げたのはカラフルな屋台が軒を連ねて活気あふれるチェンマイのナイトマーケット。そしてショーンの1位は大都市ロンドンとテムズ川の風景が望める大観覧車のロンドンアイでした。いわば地元目線とその街を俯瞰する目線が対照的ですが、旅行の際には。このような二つの目線からその土地を眺めると面白いのではないでしょうか。次回は二人のトークの最終回となります。それではごきげんよう。